All right, guys, yo, chaser. <clears throat> I'm still sitting here. Haven't had nothing tonight. But it's nearly 10 o'clock. Now, that's got me thinking. The one in August. Right? 2018. Was that 10 o'clock at night? I'm telling you this because when I think about things, I, I, I think further into things than anybody I know. I, I know that 100%. And that's why I always tell people, if you get me on the right path, I'll think of things that no one's ever thought of. I know that, 100%. Um, I'm not saying I'm smart or anything, I just, I, I think and I think and I think and I think. I'm, like, it takes me a while, but, like, even today at, at the house with the bullet, I, I started doing stuff and um, checking stuff out, and only goes, police never asked any of those questions or done any of that what you're doing. I see, yeah, but that's just how I am. I get right into it. I know it doesn't show in my videos, but I um I haven't had really any really that good to look at or but anyway so but yeah today we sort of well you don't see in any of those videos that I did today if you've seen the video at her house is the the bullets come in through the roof through a tin roof it's then gone through the bats and then it's gone. Um, through the top of that roof, right? Now, then it's changed angle completely and gone back towards the wall of the house where the dolls are. Now, he should have kept going towards the bed. Right? I've stuck a rod through it. I've put a rod through the plasterboard and through the hole in the roof. And it was aiming towards the bed. But as it come through, it's actually come through and then it's turned and gone back towards itself and hit the doll. So when the forensics, these other forensics are going there tomorrow, so it'll be interesting to see if they work that out. And anyway, I'm not trying to be, I don't know at all, I don't, but I'm just saying. But anyway, what, what I was getting at before was, at, <clears throat> it was 10 o'clock on the August one, right? Now it was 10 o'clock at night, that was the one where, the old Yowie, big, he was big foot apparently, that one, he had big feet. So that was that one, that was at 10 o'clock, that was near Natural Bridge, right? Now the one where I'm at here now, that was 10 o'clock in the day. And um, this one's at Beachmont Road at Wifferin. Now, I used to do a lot of fishing, I was no good at that either. <laughs> but I thought I knew all about fishing as well, but... What what just um was making me think then about fishing was um is moons like fish feed on certain moons and all that shit right so I'm now gonna go back and check the dates of these right and see what the moon phases were see if that's got anything to do because all animals no no crap I don't know if any of you know this but when the moon's right above, an hour either side of that is, that's feeding time at the zoo. Actually, I'll have to remember that when I'm out. I'll have to check where the moon is if it's up above me. That's feeding time, mate. That's like all you can eat in the forest, so I'm not going there then. <laughs> oh, shit. So, yeah, I'm going to go back and check the moon phases on those days. So, 10 o'clock. Um, oh, I don't know when it was in August. I'm not sure. It was, I don't know what the date is. I mean, I don't know the date's there. And then this one here was in November the 18th, I think. Anyway, I'll take them dates. I'm going to have a look at the moon phases. Because it's funny, one's at night, one's at the day. And, it's, and it, you know, it depends where the moon is. Maybe if they're on the chew or that's what, you know, we fish are anyway. So yeah, I wonder if that's I wonder if there's a pattern there that we could work out. 
I shouldn't give away all my great ideas, eh? There might be someone that's got a lot of info and can use my info. Anyway, I don't mind sharing my little bit of information to help solve this problem. So yeah, just I'll, I'll check that out later. All right, so it's nine thirty. Um, I haven't had any gear. The night I come here, I should have stayed longer and listen. So I'm gonna drive off. Let's see what them, them down here. They got the um, then they got the bridge up. Oh, we didn't get a flat tire, that's what it sounded like. It sounded like pshh. Like a flat. I've got a spare, so I'll be here for the night, huh? I want to hear another story. This has got nothing to do with the owies. I must have been a talkative mood or something. I, um, this, is, this is a while ago where I used to work. Now, <laughs> you can laugh. Um, I, I do get a bit of feedback. People saying that they like my videos and that. I need to make it better, I know that. I don't know. People... I don't know if people like listen, I know some, I probably annoy a lot of people, but anyway, you can't win everybody. But anyway, where I used to work, right? Now, I used to have a habit of telling people stories where I worked. No one would ever believe me, I don't know why. They go, how come you're the only person that can go play, this is what I'm saying, I, used to, I never used to do this, so, and I'm talking years ago, things would always happen everywhere I go, doesn't matter what it is. So I'd go to work and I'd tell them the stories and they'd all be going, he's, he's full of it, this guy. And there's not that much things that can happen to them, but they do. I'm telling you, they do. You'll see. Yeah. So at work, where I used to work, I won't say where it was, it was a pretty big place. And um, I'd go to work. There's, there's forklift people, there's there's people that do other sort of stuff, drive around on other sort of machines that are like forklifts. Alright, now, normally, I used to do afternoon shift. So I think we, we used to work 2 to 10. So, you know, it was, it was, it was pretty, it would be pretty busy until about 6 and it would start slacking it off, you know what I mean? Because it was... That's when all the work had to be done. So normally, I would be stopped somewhere talking to someone. Now this happened all, every night. <laughs> I'd be just there talking, right? And then one person would stop, with two people, three, four, five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Before you know it, this is true. No one would be doing anything. And I'd be standing around this guy. We'll say his name was Yowie Chaser. So I'd be standing around listening to him. Anyway, so what happened on this one night? We had this we had this boss. He, he's a nice fella actually. He actually plays golf, right? With Tim Manda, who's gonna be the um I don't know, I think he'll be the next liberal um leader. I'd say he's pretty He's pretty tall, he, he, and he was uh, um, used to be a footy ref. So my boss used to play golf with him every weekend, right? So this this boss was a pretty good boss. He was an old fellow. He was hard. He was old school, but he was good. Anyway, he reckons he went to lunch. <laughs> this is funny. He reckons he went to lunch, and he's come back out out of the lunch room, and he's walked out into the warehouse. This is what he told me when he found me. He goes, I walked out, and he goes, I couldn't see any forklifts. He goes, I couldn't hear anything. And it's a big place, let me tell you, it's a big place. 
He goes, there was nobody. And he goes, I kept walking. And then you got to walk into another, like, building. Like, they're, like, the size of footy fields. They're massive. And he goes, I got into the next room, into the next building, the next doorway sort of thing. And he goes, there's nothing. And that's, like, the busiest part where he walks in the next one. And he said, there was nothing. And he goes, there's all, like, aisles where forklifts drive up and down. He goes, I could see through the aisles. I know, before that, before he was already getting forked, he goes, I bet you any money, this Yowie Chaser guy has stopped and he's talking and, every, and the whole warehouse has just come to a standstill to listen to his story. <laughs> so he's, he's come through that second door, he's walking along, he can't see anybody, then he looks through the, all the aisles, he reckons. Because I can just see the whole warehouse just stopped, <laughs> standing around, standing around in a circle. And he goes, sure enough, I get to the end of that aisle and I look up. Everyone jumps back on their machines and starts working. And you're the one that's standing there doing doing nothing. He goes, I knew it. He goes, I knew for a fact it was going to be you. And he goes, so he's come up and seen me then after he, everyone's gone back to work. And he's gone. He goes, look, he goes, you're probably a really nice bloke at a barbecue and a couple of beers. He goes, I don't really care what you do. He goes, but we're here to work. <laughs> I'm so sure. He goes, can you just leave everyone alone so they can work? <laughs> so, yeah, that's another one of my dumb stories. I thought I'd just let you know that. So, if you're one of those people that listen to me stories, you're not alone. Oh, I'm an idiot, I know. It's just something I was thinking of the other day. Like, when I first started doing this, I thought, no one's going to listen to me. But, I don't know, I'm getting some good results, I mean. Got 88... 88 subscribers, it's good. A lot of people get a lot of interaction with people, it's good. I love it. Keeps me going, I mean, I don't know. Like, you look at these people that have... 60,000 subscribers and... Hundred thousand subscribers. How they how they how do they get so many subscribers? But I think in Australia, the little Yowie, the little Yowie population is it's not that big, so it's pretty hard to get people. I've looked at um the biggest one I have found is um Australian Bigfoot down under Aussie Bigfoot down under Australian Big Jason. Like he's been doing it for a while. He's got I think he's got forty thousand subscribers. Man. So he done well to do that. I don't know if you watch him. You need to watch him. He, he's pretty. He's on to it. It's funny. Hey, the other day I was like, he, he always comments on every good bloke. And um, every everywhere I've been, I didn't even realise. Like I, I have watched heaps of his videos, but I never realised he's been to bloody every bloody place that I've been to. He's already been there years ago and done that. I'm like, geez, I wonder if there's a place you know, haven't been. That he hasn't been to. Be very rare. So you look at him, he's been doing it for years. He's had a couple of um, sightings. He's, I think he's had three sightings a big one, small one, no one. So. But yeah, he's like, he'd have to be number one in Australia, I reckon. He'd have to know most subscribers, I reckon. For sure. And then you've got. I don't know who'd be next. There's another guy, Rusty. If you, if you haven't seen Rusty, man, I mean, this guy, he, the amount, the amount of trouble this guy has gone to to make stuff is unbelievable. you got to go watch one of his videos, one of his last ones, where he made this big, it's like a big, um, what do you call it, like an auto bin or something, I don't know, it's got cameras in it everywhere, recordings, he goes to so much trouble, man. Like, it is full on. I and mean, I think he spent fifty-three thousand dollars setting it up. I don't know what he does for a job, but he obviously knows what he's doing. So yeah, if you go and have a look at his setup, man, it's unbelievable. Then he's—I don't know—I think he's he sort of gave it away. I think he still does it, but I don't know, I don't know what his deal is. I think he should give me all his gear. <laughs> man, he's got some good gear. I remember watching one of his things, and he goes, "I'm sick of carrying this," and he was carrying in big batteries, man. 50 kilo batteries or something to run it all. 
It's just it's just unbelievable. So there's him. I think I think he's got like about a thousand or twelve hundred subscribers. You think he'd have more? No. Like, oh yeah. yeah. Stuff he's done. He's probably already done. Then I know. Then you've got um, Dean Dean Harrison's um, forum. That gets heaps of views, like all these YouTube channels. I don't know how many people are on that. I think there's about oh, there'd be thirteen thousand, I reckon. Fourteen thousand on that one, I reckon. Might be wrong. I don't know. Oh, I hope I haven't left anyone out. It's one of you girls. He's got a couple. I have memory lapses all the time. It doesn't matter. I went to the doctors and they said that I've got dementia, so I don't think I have. I just forget a few things here and there. But Alright, um, right. so I've wasted another 10 minutes of your life. Talking crap. Still no bloody Yowies. I don't know how I'm going to find one. So yeah, I don't even know what I was talking about then. I was just talking about how... Oh yeah, so I was just saying that I had 88 subscribers. So yeah, thanks to all those guys that... I know. And now... Some, you know what? If you listen to this and you message me, sometimes I don't get the messages. It, it goes into spam folders or some crap like that. So sometimes I don't see it, and then I don't even know who I've answered, or I don't know how you. I, I can see where all the messages are, but I don't, sometimes it's weird. So if, if you've wrote to me and I haven't answered, don't don't think that I haven't gone back to you. It's just that I, I probably haven't seen it or I can't find it. I try to answer everybody. Yeah, I definitely try to answer everyone. If, if I haven't, it's just because I haven't seen it. Or anyway, uh, I don't know what I was going to say. So yeah, in America, it's full on. I wouldn't mind going there one day. I'm thinking about riding to one of those people. I, I, I like watching this. There's a guy called Mountain Beast Mysteries. I mean, this has been going. I'm gonna end this guy. Yeah, Mountain Beast Mysteries. I like. I, he's cool. And there's another one, Rocky Mountain Sasquatch Organization. I like him too. You know, one day I, I, I want to message him and say, "Listen, if I come over there, can I hang out with you guys for a few weeks or months?" Oh shit, that's cops. Well, oh, hope that's not lit up. Probably like that guy was just on his phone. Definitely. All right, guys. I'm gonna end this one. It's been going for way too long. Alright, cheers for listening. Just remember, any sightings, we're looking for anything. Yo, he's Bigfoot, Harry Man, Shave Man, I don't care who he is. If he's a little monster running around the bush, I want to hear about it. Alright guys, chat later. I've got heaps of videos I've got to upload. Hope you enjoying them. Thanks for watching. See you later.